Okay, boys and girls, as you can see, the Fiesta has been moved. It is no longer behind me. The Fiesta's actually there, just only just rolled it out of the garage for a little bit, but I mean, like, what's that back here? Like, it's been a while since I've had it on its wheels properly, and like, it just looks so good. Like, it just sits there so nicely. It's just got such a good stance to it. It's not, like, I've still got loads of ground clearance. Well, what I would consider loads of ground clearance. And I've had some, like stupidly low cars in the past so that's that's loads of ground clearance and it just look good you know anyway on tonight's agenda we're not working on the fiesta tonight obviously um i'm actually waiting on some stuff to come back from phil the uh, the ecu builder we have found a little bit of a problem inside the issue which might be the problem well is the problem why we're not getting any spark so Again, we'll get back to that another day. Um, although, I have... Oh, it's a bit dark. I'll show you later. I have got the new battery in now. Old uh, old stinky stinky over here, Mr. 10-year-old Halford Advance, has been removed. Um, yeah, so, getting on to uh, tonight's agenda. The lighting in the garage is pretty good, but it could be better. So, I've brought more lights. Um, at the moment, we've got a couple of 290mm down lighters up there gonna rip them out i'm gonna put some nice big six by six light boxes up there um so roll the intro and i'll see you when i'm on top of that ladder with the light box up there in just a second So, uh, right, got the lights out. I started, I just unboxed one of them. I've already managed to get greasy fingerprints all over the brand new light fittings because, you know, you just get greasy fingerprints everywhere when you're doing this kind of stuff. So, um, but basically, yeah, so these are our 600 by 600 LED light boxes. Um, and then I've got the uh, surface mount option, obviously, because I don't want to be cutting big holes in there. So basically screw these frames to the ceiling drop those in um, and I got one two three what well, I, I brought four because my plan was to just do one two three four in each corner of the garage but then I was like looking at it just now and then I was thinking well the power comes through in the center of the room anyway so I'd have to then go get like a rose kit and stuff to split the cables out so I thought you know what I'm just going to put one two three on this side and then one on that side up there for now, and then just buy another two at some point that can go the other side. But this is the main side of the work, the garage workshop that we use. So I thought I'd just do this side first, put that 600 by 600 there, which will be a lot brighter than that little thing there anyway. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pop you down there on the corner on a time-lapse somewhere and uh, crack on. <laughs> three light boxes in, un, deux, trois. That's about as much French as I can speak. So uh, they're all right pain in the ass to get up. I think I've got most of them fairly in line and fairly square. Definitely a two man job.
very bright in here. Very, very bright. I'm chuffed. I mean, you can see hell of a lot bright, brighter than it used to be. Um, beforehand, it was just in this corner here, it was quite bright. But now, um, obviously with these three spread out evenly across the garage there, it's you know it's really bright all across so um excuse the mess i mean you know i'm like for the mess i'm you know i've always got mess in the garage but there you go um so yeah that's my new lights in i haven't done um i haven't done over there yet and i'm not going to tonight now because time is getting on and obviously to do that i've got to take i've got to basically move all the stuff off the drive my van and that and then i'll have to get the Celica out and get up there and do all that so i'll just leave that for another day for now because in reality, I mean, that's fine for over there for now. And most of the work goes on over here anyway. So we've got these three in to get us by. Um, I can't believe how dirty I managed to get these whilst I was putting them up. Like, I don't know how well the, the camera the camera's gonna show it, but um, yeah, I managed to get dirty fingerprints over all of them. So I might have to get a little cloth out and give them a wipe down or probably just leave it because it's the garage, you know, it's not, it's nothing special. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm chuffed with how that came out, to be honest with you. Um, I know it wasn't a car related video this evening for this week, but um, yeah, it's all, it's all relevant, you know, it's the workshop, so it's where we, it's where we make, it's where we make the race, race cars happen. So um, yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers.